Hello, we previously made a video uh, showing how to install Xming. Uh, we're now going to make a video uh, at, because after installing Xming, you should install the Xming fonts. Many programs will use fonts that are not in Xming's standard fonts that are downloaded with the regular install package. If you do not have fonts that are, re that are required by some software packages, then you will have GUIs that are not displayed properly. Okay, and this is pretty easy. We'll just use uh, Internet Explorer to do this. You can use whatever web browser you want. And we're going to come and go to um, uh, Google. Okay, and then we're going to say Xming. Uh, and I'll, I just go to this SourceForge. Uh, that's where I get my Xming stuff. So I'll click the top one here at sourceforge.net. I want to click on Browse All Files when this advertisement goes away. There we go. Browse All Files. And then in this uh, screen here, in the Browse All Files, I'm, go I'm going to click Xming Fonts. And then I'll click on the version number that's out there at the moment. and then I'm going to click on Xming fonts setup and it'll take a minute you know a few seconds to download uh, usually if you just wait it'll uh, it'll come up now because I'm using uh, Internet Explorer I'll have the option to just run it um, if you're using something like Firefox or perhaps Chrome you may have to save it and uh, I'm expecting that box to appear any second here giving me options and here it is okay and then I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and click run you could save this and then go down and run the uh, .exe program <clears throat> so here we can see it you know the percentage being downloaded comes down pretty quick and ask if we want to make changes. We sure do. We're going to click Next. That's where it's going to put the information. Now it already installed Xming uh, so that folder exists. Uh, this is being installed after Xming. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on all the fonts. Uses a few extra megabytes of space but uh, okay and this is uh, the uh, folder it's going to uh, create and then we'll click install and uh, <clears throat> in a second this will be done running yeah I install all the fonts that way I don't have to go back and get them if something's missing and I know Xming has it and I go ahead and click finish okay now all the fonts are installed for Xming to use. That's all there is to installing the fonts. Uh, I hope this was informational and thanks for listening.